Et salut à toutes et tous, on se retrouve pour ce 11 e épisode de Unmetal, euh, qui sera peut-être le dernier, on va voir. Allez, let's go. Mr. Fox. You have finally arrived. General X. The same. Are you searching for a key, Mr. Fox? Perhaps one for a helicopter? Hmm? You won't find it here, Mr. Fox. I'm afraid that your contact has betrayed you. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Don't blame him. He's been the victim of my counterintelligence. Right there, in front of me, was General X, the puppet master of Operation Jericho. Not only was he a merciless, psychopathic asshole, he was so smart that he could predict my every move. For starters, He tricked me and Robert into searching for this room. You had us waiting longer than expected, Mr. Fox. If you drew some arrows in the labyrinth, <laughs> you'd come sooner. Hmm, that would remove a certain charm, don't you think? By the way, I brought some company. Ouais, il y a le docteur et puis euh... Colonel. Je connais. Doctor. I see you're already acquainted. I'll get to the point, Mr. Fox. Surrender, otherwise start executing our guests. There were too many people. If I opened fire, Harris and the doctor could mm -hmm. die. Let me guess. You're considering the option of shooting, but you know that Harris and the doctor could die. Fuck, yeah. He read my <laughs> mind, but that asshole X was a clean shot. If I shot quickly, I could kill him. Now you're probably thinking I'm stupid for <laughs> and you can kill me with a quick enough shot. Ce jeu qui est parfait jusqu'au bout. Kill me. That would be the end of the final boss. Of all of this, you'd be a hero. Do you really have such a low opinion of my intellect, Mr. Fox? Shit. This was part of his plan. He was here on purpose. I was thinking that he might have worn a bulletproof vest. By now, you should be thinking that I'm wearing a bulletproof vest. <laughs> Shooting an armored man would be foolish, don't you think? Fuck. He read my mind once again. But even if his body was covered, his head was not. One bullet between his eyes and goodbye. But you're not a quitter, Mr. Fox. It's only logical that you'd consider shooting me in the head. <laughs> a challenging, yet possible shot. An Olympian trial of marksmanship, reflexes, and luck. Let me spare you the trouble. Sergeant! Yes, sir! Shoot me in the head at point blank range. But, sir! That's an order. Uh, yes, sir! The bullet went through his head, but the bastard was unfazed. Return to your post, Sergeant. Yes, sir! <laughs> What you're staring at in awe, Mr. Fox, is a projected image of myself. A uh, hologram? Precisely, <laughs> Mr. Fox. And now that it's obvious that you can't kill me, let's conclude the matter of your surrender. Or are there not enough dead bodies to convince you? Just give me ten seconds to think about it. Of course. Kill the doctor. Oh merde. C'était pas ce que je voulais faire. Ok. Girl. Du coup, il tue Harris. Ah oui. Logique. question non non et puis ce truc là je la fais exploser what Ok. Je 
je suppose. Sinon, ça serait pas là, ce truc-là. Ah, merde. Ah, dommage, je pensais pas que... <rire> C'était bien ça. I'm fine. What happened? An explosion. The guard behind you received the brunt of it. Colonel! He's alive. Looks like he just blacked out. We have to leave before reinforcements arrive. I'm taking Harris with me. It's best not to move him. We don't know if he has any fractures or internal wounds. I'll take the risk. He can't stay here. Doctor, let's go! I'm not coming, Fox. Why not? There are injured that require my attention, and I don't want to leave my father alone. What? They were going to kill you! No, they weren't. It was just a trick to catch you. And if I leave, my father won't work and they'll kill him. Run, go away. I'll come back for you with the cavalry. You have my word. I left that room carrying the colonel. Wait, you're saying that you managed to rescue Colonel Harris? That's correct. Well, Mr. Fox, let's see what you invent to remove him from <laughs> Lieutenant, we found a corpse in the remains of the helicopter. What? Who is he? We don't know, Lieutenant. It was totally carbonized by the fire. <laughs> Take him to the lab. I want a forensic analysis done yesterday. Do you understand me, Wachowski? <laughs> yes, sir. Fuck. We killed Colonel Harris. May God forgive us. No, he's not Harris. The Colonel died a month ago in an ambush. These are his personal belongings, his dog tag, his watch. Don't you remember, Sergeant? We found them on his corpse. That man has never seen the Colonel. He's just trying to confuse us with his lies. Fuck's sake, he has absolutely no evidence for what he's saying. I have this. But, what? If I'm not mistaken, it's a graduation ring for the 48th Commission of Officer Candidate School. Colonel Harris graduated in the 48th Commission of Officer Candidate School. <laughs> Sergeant, you don't believe him, do you? With all due respect, sir, I only said that Colonel Harris graduated in the 48th Commission of Officer Candidate School. He's trying to fool us, Sergeant. I remind you that there are more rings like this one. Yes, but not with the same smell. It reeks of shit. <laughs> sir, permission to smell the ring? Fuck. It smells just like Colonel Harris's anus. What? How the hell do you know what the Colonel's anus smells like? I'm not authorized to reveal that information, sir. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. This is getting out of hand. Mr. Fox, continue your story. Let's oh merde, oh putain. Oh, bah c'est le cas de le dire, mais putain, ce jeu, quoi. Ce jeu, bordel. On va attendre un peu. Comment il patrouille les deux là
pas le bon plan. Ça va être chiant. Je sais pas comment ils m'ont grillé en fait. C'est chiant au niveau du rythme. Ah d'accord, il y en a un qui descend des fois. C'est ultra peu de couilles. Ah mais ils descendent tous en fait, euh, c'est la fiesta là. Il n'y en a pas qui veut venir chercher la pièce là Il voit la pièce, il fait quoi Il bouge ou il... celui-là. <rire> I went up in the private elevator of Lieutenant, they found a bullet in the carbonized corpse head. A bullet. So, it wasn't us after all. Colonel Harris was murdered. Hey friend, Don't look at me. I haven't killed anyone. I'm not your friend. For fuck's sake, shut up. Wachowski, send the bullet to science officer Hollister for analysis. And tell him to collate it with the gun Mr. Fox had on him. Maybe we'll have a surprise. I want the results of that five minutes ago. Understood? Yes, sir. Oh, I want to say that. Wow. That asshole General X had some cool music equipment. <laughs> Multi-band equalizer, auto-amplified subwoofer, and... No way. Double-deck cassette player. <laughs> you could record directly from one cassette to another. Voilà, la dernière porte du toilette à casse. C'est ça. Yeah Sérieux, je pensais qu'il y aurait des documents. 
Il y aura un document. À moins que. Non. Ah putain, par contre, il y a des caisses là en bas. Il y a des kits de son. Ça, ça se casse pas. Euh, du coup, tu peux passer là. Nani <rire> Trop bien Putain le truc qui est caché dans le dans le jeu quoi cool en vrai t'as l'artbook qui est là quoi en fait plus ou moins oh, ça, ça fait la jaquette de metal gear euh, premier du nom hein. oh la vache <rire> c'est trop bien kept a fully stocked armory behind his office. Ah, par contre, c'est trop cool que je puisse me recharger. C'est juste dommage qu'il n'y ait pas de... De comment de merde de pochette à munitions pour augmenter euh, mes nuits mes... euh, on va save euh, comme ça direct parce que sinon ça va être la merde après de tout récupérer c'est chiant voilà ça c'est fait Let's gong to the end. Là, il faut une carte spéciale. Euh... Ouais, mais on n'a pas la clé de l'ascenseur. Lieutenant, we already have the ballistics results. And? You are right, sir. Ballistics established that the bullet was fired from Mr. Fox's gun. You killed Colonel Harris, you bastard. Sergeant. Behave. <laughs> Sir, permission to execute that assassin. Permission denied. First off, we can't confirm the identity of the victim until we have the forensics report. Second, according to policy, Mr. Fox has the right to finish his story. Mr. Fox, continue. And you better not contradict the evidence we're collecting. Mr. Fox. Leaving so soon, and without a farewell. That's not very neighborly of you. And what's that on your shoulder? That's personal property, Mr. Fox. Haven't your parents taught you never to steal? General X stood in my way, assuming it was really him and not another hologram. Are you asking yourself if I'm another <laughs> hologram? Well, yeah. <laughs> ah, no, not this time. It is I, in the flesh. Good. Then I'll... Put a bullet in my head. You read my mind. Please tell me, Mr. Fox. How does one shoot that which they cannot see? What? What the fuck? Do you like my new device, Mr. Fox? Optical electronic hollow camouflage. <laughs> Putain. The latest in nanotechnology. Obviously, if you start firing randomly, there's still a chance I may be hit. I believe dumb luck is a concept you're fond of. So if you don't mind, I invite you to expend some ammunition with some friends. Oui.
Oh Mais oui euh... Ah, je les ai plus Ah merde Je pensais qu'avec les lunettes de soleil ou le... Le truc thermo, ça irait. Oh merde, putain. Ah, on est déjà au-dessus, ok. Mr. Fox. En même temps, j'ai perdu beaucoup de vie euh, de façon débile. Voilà, là-dessus. N'importe comment, c'est incroyable. Allez, let's go. Let's go, let's go. C'est bien le fait que ça touche pas ou... Oh, je me mets sur la, la torpille, sur le missile, oh, mais c'est n'importe quoi. Oh, mais c'est n'importe quoi aussi, ça.
première run était vraiment pas dégueulasse, mais là, euh, je fais de la merde, hein. C'est assez grandiose. Hein. Oh putain mais... J'ai même plus de bandage. Ah merde. Je me mets sur la direction de sa balle. Donc en vrai je peux utiliser mes, mes roquettes sur le sur le machin. Ça c'est... C'est beau ça. Je sens que ça va être long, hein. je sais pas vous, mais... Alors... Ça pour tout à l'heure... Ça... Ok... Let's go
Mais c'est n'importe quoi, mais t'es dessus, ça touche pas, quoi, mais... Mr. Fox, leaving so soon, and without a farewell. That's not very neighborly of you. Mais j'étais à gauche, à gauche, enfin pour vous à gauche là, mais... J'ai cru que oui, tu passerais pas encore. Putain, c'est n'importe quoi. Et voilà, regardez, je tape dessus, ça marche pas, c'est nawak ce jeu, putain. Mais genre, il me touche... Hein. Non mais bien sûr, oui, hein, c'est la fête à la saucisse. Hein. Oui, non mais oui, non mais vas-y, tuez-moi, ça ira plus vite, voilà. De hein, toute façon, ce jeu c'est de la bite en bois et puis basta. Tu peux même pas te servir des lunettes pour essayer de le voir. Ou... Voilà ça. Et des fois t'as le temps, et des fois t'as pas le temps. C'est n'importe quoi. le temps c'est bon Ah 
infernal. Non mais... C'est mon... Je suis con, putain Alors que j'avais super bien géré la phase des drones. j'ai foutu pourquoi j'ai fait b pourquoi j'ai fait b putain je me fatigue moi même la sombre merde que je suis Là ça touche, il y a des fois ça touche pas. C'est formidable. Bon là c'est pareil, il y a des fois ça va toucher, il y a des fois ça va pas chercher. Bon là c'est pas la peine d'essayer. Là ça a une cure dessus alors que ça faisait pas si longtemps que ça qu'il avait tiré. Ouais c'est n'importe quoi. Allez tuer moi parce que de toute façon. Là, ce truc-là, il est à chier, voilà. Mr. Fox, ouais. dans ce missile puis dans ses bols c'est la foire à la saucisse hein, allons-y hein. Heureusement qu'il y, y a le pouvoir d'aller chercher loin hein, quand même.
J'aurais dû lancer une grenade de plus et c'était bon. Je me déteste d'une force, mais... J'ai cru que j'allais encore passer à travers. directement là-dessus et puis euh, bon, là je m'en sers pas et puis basta. Une grenade ça aurait pas suffi. Je sais pas si je joue de plus en plus mal ou si c'est. Je... Il doit y avoir des deux, enfin clairement. Je suis quand même pas, pas loin de passer en facile juste pour une boss mug, c'est un tant pis. Non mais c'est bien euh... Non mais je me jette sur le missile. En plus j'avais ma roquette qui est passée à travers. Ça a vite tendance à me gonfler ce genre de phase. Bien sûr, oui, bah oui, la fête à la saucisse. Hein.
Et il tire en même temps les missiles et les... Est-ce que ça me pète les noix Oui, euh, non, non. Bien sûr. Euh, bien sûr. Et puis forcément, j'ai plus de, de kit de soin à ce moment-là. Ouais. ouais, ça le rend à peine visible. Ok, c'est bon à savoir. vraiment pas se prendre de dégâts sur la première phase c'est chiant en même temps les premières phases elles sont chiantes aussi mais voilà putain pas se prendre de dégâts mais le jeu est chiant Mais je me jette sur le missile, mais comme un Tepius. Je vais pas y arriver, hein. C'est un cauchemar. Hein.
toute façon, c'était sûr, il me mettait une balle, c'était plié. C'est n'importe quoi lui. C'est Nawak. J'ai déjà utilisé beaucoup trop de, de kits de soins et ça me pète les mains. Et les grenades sans gaspiller. De toute façon, je fais de la merde. Hein. Mr. Fox, leaving so soon and without a farewell. That's not very near.
It's okay, let's go. Pauvre, ça De toute façon, j'allais mourir du saignement. Je m'excuse ainsi que le thème, mais bon, en même temps, je pète un câble légèrement sur le jeu. Hein. Entre les, les trop nombreuses imprécisions et... Et le jeu qui est quasiment... Je me demande si je vais vraiment pas le passer en facile. Hein. Et putain, j'ai utilisé un kit de soins, mais c'est pas vrai. Ça. Deux grenades alors que j'avais passé. Ah, il m'enlève mes. Mr. Fox, 
Unfortunately, you'll be unable to heal yourself anymore. Fortunately, it also means that you've run out of them. Which adds to the thrill. Let the best man win. So now sure. What? You bastard! Mr. Fox, first you complain because I remove your belongings. And now you complain again when I return them? What? Cheer up. I simply gave back your rusty wire. Although, maybe I've been a little brusque. You can find it between your ribs. By the way, Mr. Fox, let's see if you can kill me before bleeding to death. No, no, Mayor. Good luck. D'accord, très bien. Ah, formidable. Mais putain, mais... Ces raccourcis manettes qui fonctionnent pas non plus, là... Et je vais mourir, et voilà... J'ai plus de. Et j'avais plus de grenades parce que forcément je les lance n'importe comment et je vais trop obligé de recommencer tout ce fight de ces morts. Parce que les raccourcis manettes fonctionnent un coup sur deux. n'importe quoi plus ça va et plus je fais de la merde c'est fantastique c'est merveilleux Je vais mourir et puis je vais y faire une. Voilà, top. Je reviens. Mr. Fox, Mr. Fox, na nie nie.
bouffe, allez, vas-y, meurs, parce que de toute façon, j'ai fait de la merde de A à Z. Mr. Fox. Non mais euh, formidable Deux balles. J'ai en émis qu'une. J'ai jeté mes grenades n'importe où. De toute façon, c'était sûr.
underestimated you, Mr. Fox. Ah. Boss defeated. Si un grand bleu, si euh, si la vidéo vous paraît courte, c'est que j'aurais sans doute fait une coupure en, entre les entre les deux. What are you waiting for? Finish me. Time without paying for your crimes. No way. I'll take you to a trial so they condemn you and lock you in a cell to rot for the rest of your life. I see. Tell me, Mr. Fox. How are you going to take me if you can't move? What? You're so predictable. I knew you wouldn't kill me or let me die, just like all of my other subordinates. They consistently led you directly into my trap, Mr. Fox. Honestly, I hope you were going to surprise me again, like that little spark in the basement. But once more, the pen is mightier than the sword. By the way, thanks for volunteering to test my new paralyzer. The discharge it releases shuts down the whole peripheral nervous system. You should have killed me when you had the chance. See you never, Mr. Fox. See you never, General X. Are you all right, son? <laughs> Don't worry. The effects on the paralysis will wear off soon. But it's not prudent to stay here. Come on, stand up, Fox. I'll help you walk. Ouais, je pense que je vais, je vais en, en, en supprimer une partie des runs. Parce que sinon, ça va faire une vidéo beaucoup trop longue. Mais... Vu qu'on est sur la fin du jeu. Colonel Harris and I went to the helicopter. A few minutes later, when I regained my motor skills, we took off. Lieutenant, we have the forensic report of the carbonized corpse. Hand it to the sergeant. Dismissed. Yes, sir. Looks like we can finally prove that Mr. Fox has been lying. Sergeant, what does the report say? And the physiological study confirms that the corpse with identification C4423 measures three inches taller than Colonel Alan Harris, disproving his identity. What? Then he's not the Colonel. Of course not. I told you, Sergeant. Care to explain this, Mr. Fox? Are you going to tell us that he was tortured on a rack until it stretched him three inches? That would be ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> He's not the jeu. I never said he was. You what? You just told us that you both flew away in that helicopter. I told you we escaped together, but never said that corpse was Colonel Harris. In fact, I have no idea who it is. Are you sure you found it in the helicopter? Did you plan it yourselves to incriminate me? Like some dirty cops? <laughs> How dare you! Enough games, Mr. Fox, enough! We'll find out who you are and then we'll execute you. What now? What the hell is happening in here? Colonel in the room, salute! Eddie's. Colonel Harris? You, you're alive. Sir, we, we thought you passed away. As you can see, Lieutenant, I'm alive and kicking. Why is this man handcuffed? We were interrogating him. He's a spy that we captured, sir. A spy? Are you pulling my leg? He's a civilian <laughs> who was imprisoned for a crime he didn't commit. He's also the man that not only saved my life and freed me from the ex-army base, but also he found classified information about Operation Jericho that will be essential in stopping the ex-army. For goodness sakes, that man's a fucking hero. Release him immediately. Y yes sir. Did you tell them your heroic feet, Fox? I was at when we entered the helicopter, Colonel. But it looks like they found a corpse in the helicopter. But fuck, I don't know who he is. They say he has a bullet in his head, and it came from my gun. But I haven't killed anyone. That corpse was General X. I killed him with your gun myself. Don't you remember? See you never, General X. Later, while you were regaining your senses inside the helicopter, I retrieved General X's corpse and dragged it to the helicopter's aft. That bastard was heavy. 
in the air. You know what happened. Hurry up, Fox. They're following us. Don't rush me, Colonel. I'm getting used to the controls. This piece of junk has levers and buttons everywhere. But don't panic. I think we'll be able to reach Allied territory before they catch up. Then I'll call the cavalry. Charlie, Alpha, Charlie, Alpha. Five, four, four, three, eight, do you copy? Damn it, this radio isn't working. <laughs> Piece of shit. Don't worry, Colonel. As soon as we reach Allied territory, they'll stop pursuing us. Don't worry. Son, with no radio, with this fully armed piece of Soviet junk being their radar, the first thing they're gonna do if we don't answer is take us down. Fuck. So we'll be shot at if we keep going, or we'll be shot at when we <laughs> Affirmative. We're between a rock and a hard place. We'll abandon the helicopter as soon as we cross the border. I'm gonna search for the parachutes. But jumping would still be risky in this jungle terrain. You have them, Colonel? We're nearly there. There's only one, Fox. You jump and deliver the documents to the Allies. Are you insane, Colonel? They won't believe me. And you don't know how to pilot this junk. I'm dead to them anyway. You're young. You have your life ahead of you, son. Take this ring. Show it to them. They'll believe you. Fuck, it reeks of shit. Well, that's because those asshole bastards were going to snatch it as they put their hands on me. So I hit it. And the only safe place I had left. <laughs> We argued about who had to jump, and I had to admit that Mr. Fox had one convincing argument. Fox, what are you waiting for? Hurry up, son. We are running out of time. For heaven's sake, put on the parachute. <laughs> The next thing I remember was waking up, hanging from the parachute tangled to a tree. The owner of a farm who spotted me arrived a few minutes later. After tending to my wounds and offering me food, he was so kind as to bring me here to the base. The lieutenant and the sergeant were shocked and immediately apologized. A few days later, the Army decorated me with two medals. Jesse Fox, for rescuing an MIA military colonel and recovering intelligence on Operation Jericho. I, Colonel Alan Harris of the 5th Battalion, award you the Purple Cross <laughs> of Civilian Courage. <laughs> that medal really exists? It didn't. They had to invent it, as they had nothing that they could provide for a civilian. You're also awarded the Gandhi Medal of the <laughs> National Idiots? Well, I received it because I didn't kill any enemies at all during the escape. As you know, militaries don't get why killing is wrong. Well, at least we agree on that. So, thanks to the documents I found, the Allies could find and sink every related submarine. The military base, docks, and Omega building were the target of a large operation. Everyone was arrested. Robert the Paparazzi published the story and won a Pulitzer Prize. The two doctors and their two fathers dedicated themselves to finding a cure for cancer using nanonuclear weapons. <laughs> Wasn't it one doctor? That's what they wanted us to believe. The captain of that boat Retired with my $50 million. Oh, <laughs> but he died of gonorrhea the week after. <laughs> Bien fait pour Seriously? <laughs> no, but. <laughs> oh, putain, but that. It. <laughs> Do you remember Private Mike, the one I found hammered and whose leave I obtained? Well, he could finally visit his daughter for her birthday. Hello? <gasps> Daddy! And I. Uh, Went back to my old life as a smuggler. The end. Wow. 
Jesse, that's the most incredible story ever told. My god, you have an amazing imagination. You should be a video game writer. <laughs> you don't believe me. Not a word. Thank you very much, Miss Incredulous. Hey, who are those guys? Must be an improvised patrol. Don't say a word if they don't ask you anything. I see your passports, please. Good morning. Here you are. Very well. Let's see. Fuck. You're Jesse Fox. Uh, yeah, that's me. Holy Jesus. I can't believe it. Hey, Jimmy. Who is that guy? Fuck, Mike. He's Fox. The one who rescued Colonel Alan Harris and did the new attacks. <laughs> Really admire you, Mr. Fox. You're a fucking hero. Thanks, soldier. Here are your passports. Go, drive carefully. Are you okay? <laughs> Stop the car. <laughs> now do you believe me? Kiss me. What? Kiss me now. Ok voilà. La fin putain de un medal. Ah c'était cool. En ah, vrai c'était cool. Hein. Le l'écriture est géniale. Ça se moque de plein de trucs, enfin, c'est débile as fuck, hein, mais euh, j'adore. Le, le seul reproche euh, véritable que je ferai au jeu, c'est qu'il peut être très frustrant euh, sur certains points, notamment au niveau des combats de boss, et des fois pas forcément très clair dans ce qu'on doit faire. Bon après c'est pas, pas mal hein, non plus, hein, c'est pas le jeu est pas forcément ultra diri dirigiste du coup. Euh, c'est pas plus mal, il y a des fois, il faut expérimenter, ça fait un peu point et click, euh, notamment dans les, les mélanges qu'on doit faire dans l'inventaire, etc. C'est plutôt pas mal. Euh, sinon, l'imprécision du jeu, hein, ça se voit notamment sur le combat de boss final, là, euh, sur les drones, quand on va pour donner des coups de poing dedans. Il euh, y a des fois ça touche, des fois ça touche pas, et puis, enfin... Mais en soi, euh, le jeu est sympa, clairement. Euh... Et il est plutôt cool. On aura, il a, on a, j'aurais fait à peu près 11 heures, euh, peut-être un peu plus. Euh, ça doit faire un peu plus de 11 heures dessus, mais bon, vu que j'ai bien galéré, etc. Euh, de toute façon, sur YouTube, vous aurez pas tout. Je ne pense pas. Je pense que je vais enlever. Euh... Oh, coup, pff, allez, bah les couilles, je laisse tout. Euh... <rire> Le mec qui change d'avis comme de chemise. Euh, donc ça fera une vidéo un peu plus longue. Mais euh, voilà, c'est la fin. Donc bon, forcément, on peut se permettre. Euh, de laisser un petit peu. Il euh, y a quelques soucis, hein, ça s'est vu dans, les, dans le menu, notamment au niveau des succès. Des trucs qui se sont pas déverrouillés alors que c'était fait, alors que. Enfin. C'est. Voilà, enfin. C'est bizarre. Après, le jeu est sorti. Euh, là, le, le 28 septembre, euh, mardi 28 septembre à 19h. Euh, on est le 3 octobre, il est 17h14. On va pas se plaindre non plus. Hey, Jimmy! Who the fuck is this Colonel Alan Harris? I don't know. Yesterday I met that guy in a bar. He was nice. I told him that I was going to slog as a guard here today. And he said if I pretended he rescued the Colonel and prevented nuclear attacks when he drove by, that he'd give me a hundred bucks. A hundred bucks for saying four sentences. Can you believe it? <laughs> Good morning. May I see your passports, please? Good morning. Here you are. It's been the easiest 100 bucks ever. Fuck. People make up stupid shit just to score. Yeah, dude. <rire> oh, le jeu jusqu'au bout, putain. Voilà, hein. Euh, on n'en parlera pas des, des fameux succès ici. L'évasion réussie, il est, il est bien. Hein. Terminer le jeu. Mais tous ceux qui sont entre, étonnamment, euh, ça n'a pas fonctionné. Hein. C'est bizarre, hein. Bref. 
Voilà, là-dessus, on se laisse. Euh, je ferai peut-être des petits retours sur d'autres jeux indés, euh, notamment sur Shield Ball, qui a pas mal évolué euh, depuis. Euh, mais voilà. Je sais pas quand. Là, sachant que la, la vidéo doit sortir euh, normalement le, aux alentours du 9, je crois, octobre. Euh, donc on est large. Je verrai si ça sera pour après. J'ai le temps, je ferai ça, hein, mes jours de repos. Enfin, faut que j'avance dans Shield Wall et puis que je débloque de nouveaux trucs pour vous montrer des, le contenu qui a, qui a bougé. Mais, euh, mais voilà. Du coup, là-dessus, je vous laisse. Je vous dis merci d'avoir suivi cette série si vous êtes allé jusqu'au bout. Euh, J'ai vu que les stats sur les premiers épisodes étaient un peu bizarres sur YouTube, mais c'est pas grave. Et je vous dis donc à plus pour de futures vidéos sur la chaîne. A ciao, à plus, ciao bye bye, salut